Anyway, it looks like you all like my organization of these beads, the way we kitten up together with you. I like this idea as well. So, lots of you said, why don't we do together this car with you? But when I open from the packaging, I see a little bit lines in here. So, yes, you can see I have underneath my old sheets that I don't use anymore for my bed. And I'm using just for the sake of if I need to iron something. So I have my parchment paper and I have very mini iron. So I want to get rid of some of this fold. Now, if you remember my diamond painting I did with you lately, I use iron, big iron, and I a little bit overheat that diamond painting because it was got a little bit wiggle. So that's why I really love this mini because it only go so much hot and it's really safe for canvases. And I'm not gonna try like to give rid of all this like lines. They will be still lines, but the canvas on the other side will be smooth. And after I place my diamonds, will be not visible at all. So I'm just trying to soften up this canvas with the heat slowly so I decided let's just do together uh, I know many of you will be asked where I got this iron um, I got it from my local store in here Walmart they do have some a little bit uh, bigger kind but still kind of like a mini like this uh, for I think around thirty dollars or something like that and this one I, I purchased I don't know how many years ago it was a long time ago and I really keep in it like if I need to iron some ribbons for the project uh, some you know canvas like now it work really nice because it doesn't have too much heat like the bigger one have so this is really good crafty and if you are seamstress you like to stitch in on a machine um, this is really gonna help you okay let's see so make sure it's plugged in. Okay. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do and I will show you end result. As of for now, this is more than enough for me. The canvas like visually you see those lines yet, but if I flip on this side, the canvas now is totally flat. It's not wiggle on the table like this. So that way I kind of like it to start so my drills will be laid down nice and flat as well and not uh, buckle up later. Uh, as you can see in here I use my kind of what I told you about uh, some kind of elastic. This one I think was came like with my male, male men tied up all the stuff together with this elastic. Uh, and it's good to put over this kind of um, containers because the lid is coming out really easy. Uh, so that's kind of like protected not to open. And I'm just looking at right now which color should we pick to work together. I wanted to start on something maybe like this corner because to get to the fun part as a car uh, I will be sticking in here which I could use parchment paper but you know what let's just start from beginning and do together so this one I'm gonna start facing me so at least though I picked the color right it's a G little G because it has in here symbol the little and capital you see that let's not do mistake I'm gonna find a 
Well, let's do capital then. 317 number 5. And if I go like this, number 5, here's our 5. And this is 5 that's doubled and fit in one. So I'm going to start with the jar that doesn't have a marking on it. So I can actually give rid of this faster. And we will start to work together with you. I already refill my um, new wax to start because I didn't use this pen for a while and I have a straightener too on another side. So let's see quality of these drills. And place one by one and enjoy the process. We're gonna put them in a line. Shake slowly. If you are new to diamond painting, just slowly shake and turn your tray from side to side. And then all your diamonds will line up in the line that you need. Now let's zoom to the part that we need. Okay, I think it's good enough. And we will try and start together with you. New start there. We did it. It's the beginning. <laughs> so yeah, this car is for my son. And I have another one, yellow, I think, color. So if you didn't see my unboxing video, you can check it out. All details up there. And I will link it up for you as well. This canvas is from Fun Sale. And so far, so good. So you want me, lots of you, interested in my camping videos. And so far we camp like just the weekends for now. So we stay home and do work where we need to be done. And then on a weekend uh, we go and camp. So we did twice already and it's so far it's more work than uh, vacation yet because we are building a deck that we actually finish yesterday one part and I'm gonna insert picture just for now just for fun maybe to show you what we are doing or actually I'm just gonna do no I'm not gonna insert picture but Next time when we go there, we are gonna, there's some little things more we need to decorate and finish. So I will record video about camping and our site. I will take you for a walk all over campus with me. And we, were, we will go to the lake and so we will have some fun. I just want to make sure everything up there is set and we don't have to work anymore and um, that, that would be fun. We're gonna bring our boat to the water so it should be lots of fun for whole summer but as for now my still you know kids doing school yet still school. Catherine's still doing the school even today I think it's one more week left only and then we can have like a more free time. So again as last week, well we did 7 per 7. 7 videos in 7 days. I can't believe, I, I really thought I did not post on Sunday so I can put video on Monday but obviously. I changed my mind and posted on Sunday, so that was seven video in seven days. And you all love it, 
so I do appreciate thank you so much that you want me to record videos even after pandemic to record lots <laughs> so I will try my best it's not much I do up there actually when I camp I thought I will be more likely like bored out of my mind because what you can do up there all day long okay you have this this fun and then that's it nothing to do but no it's so much fun maybe thanks to the lake because uh, in my like 10 let's say 10 years ago when we camp we camp there is um, didn't have a lake but just like a swimming pool with slides for kids uh, some of the camper was like right inside Niagara Falls city so that wasn't really even feel like camp and it's like you living in a city same thing and this time it's different it's it's so it's just nice it's by the lake we went swim well I didn't go swim yet I dipped my feet and for me it's like oh my god it's still cold it's because it was like 33 degrees Celsius it was really really hot this weekend um, so when your body temperature is so hot the water feels like very very cold but Catherine and my husband went for swim and I was just on the shore walking around picking up beautiful rocks oh my god I love rocks and some of my viewers asked me a question I thought that was a, such a good question where I got my inspiration uh, love for cross stitching for colors and beads all that stuff where this came from to me why I love this so much so let me tell you some story for example about cross stitching all my childhood I saw my mom cross stitching or embroidery mostly she did embroidery she did like pillowcases uh, bed spreads and some uh, we used to put like a when you put picture on a wall and then um, you put embroidery piece on each uh, I cannot explain it to you I have to probably find some time picture and show you but you know when I was watching my mom doing this it got me interested so I learned from her how to cross stitch and I would sit next to her and cross stitch and then she let me use her sewing machine she my older sister uh, she's 10 years older than I am and my mom more trusted me than her to use her sewing machine the old old-fashioned as like go in a wooden box carry on I don't even know if my mom probably still have the machine so I would stitch some clothes for my doll uh, and then when I was in my 18 19 I was working as a professional dancer in the group dance group so between breaks when we have like you know 45 minutes like at school uh, work dance um, practice and then you have like 15 minutes or biggest one I think was 30 minutes break so all girls around me would do not all girls but very many of them like to knit or crochet so watching them all the time do this kind of got me interested to which I already knew how to knit I just didn't have that much attraction to it till I saw how the other girls doing and mostly they would knit uh, like a clothes sweaters um, well anything like that clothes because up there would be easier to make yourself than buy sweater from store and my kids teasing me because they say I did not pronounce right word sweater I don't think I still do <laughs> but that's me um, it's just my accent I guess I don't know if I can ever pronounce this word right so that's kind of got me into the knitting a lot uh, and then 
I always was attractive to everything, sparkle and glitter, that was just, I guess, thing that was living in me, and I did not have uh, back then where to get that stuff. It was whatever, we didn't have like a craft stores, you know, 20, 30 years ago. So when I came to Canada, I discovered for myself store Michaels and OMG. That was a beginning of my spending money. I shop in Michaels probably every day. Not every day, every week. My husband would take me there. And then I always pick something Sometimes something good for the good price or 50%, usually always up there something 40% off. But it's good to get something like expensive item when you have a coupon 50% off. And I was interested always of doing the molds. I don't know, I like to create, I have no idea even where I got that love from. But I started to create my own molds and learn how to do your own like cold porcelain that was always to me interesting so I watch lots and lots of youtubers uh, Russian youtubers Ukrainian youtubers because usually up there uh, people are very creative because they are surviving for their life so whatever they create they sell for the profit to put food for their families so they are really creative and they share their love for crafting on YouTube as well. So I learned a lot from them. Uh, beads, I always wanted to create some jewelry beads. I love that. And I would like buy magazines, but then I don't have where to buy the product itself. So again, I, when I saw how many beads Michaels have, I was like, was blown away. Um, so I started to, <coughs> excuse me, I started to buy beads a little bit at Michael's, then I saw the dollar store has some beads, which is, you know, craft section in dollar store. It's just a cheap quality beads. Sometimes you can find a good one. But mostly it's a cheap beads or plastic or if it's a glass that is not like a even sizes. Uh, but I still buy every time I see something new. And if I see glitter, I have to have a glitter. Uh, I have so much glitter. I should do video collection about my glitters. I have drawers and drawers of glitters. Maybe actually I need to reorganize my glitters because they all in different packaging, different sizes, lots of Martha Stewart glitters. So all that sparkle, I don't know, it just, I didn't really got the inspiration for glitters from anyone, it's just something in me. I always love like, if I eyeshadow, I love to be eyeshadow, be metallic or shimmer. And then when I watch youtubers beauty channels they say oh when you're already older it's not really appropriate the shimmers not always good because of the um could be like you know hooded eyes uh, and not proper put way a shimmer will make your eyes even more look older and i was like holy smokes i don't think so um I love glitter and no matter what age I am, I'm still using a body spray that has a shimmer in it. It makes me happy, so I'm doing it. So that's for that. Then I, when I have my son, little baby, um, my husband work, um, with now my BFF girlfriend Sherry. She is my admin in a Facebook group. Um, our husbands work together and my husband was manager at the time and they kind of click husbands together and become a best friends 
So my husband says, okay, uh, let's get ready. We are going for dinner and some fire fireworks to friend that I work together and then you're gonna meet up his wife. I was terrifying because at that point my English was very, very bad. I shy to meet with any other people. So we went up there and she was such a lovely lady. We are now like, you know, she's my godmother, godparents for my little girl, Catherine. Uh, we get together very often. We used to camp together. And she was really into the paper craft and she still do. So she bought it Cricut, the paper cotton machine. So she started teasing, actually her husband was teasing my husband, oh, you should buy for Natalie uh, this machine. You can create so many beautiful things. And of course my husband, because he loved me so much, he decided to spoil me and he bought me a cricket machine. And then all that started because we would shop with Sherry and buy all the cartridges to, to new cuts. And oh my God, I don't even know how many cartridges I have. I did not use the machine very often. So it's literally sitting somewhere on a shelf with cartridges already probably packed in some big box and not being used. So I have that machine from her because she was so heavy in a paper craft and every time we go to Michael's I have to buy some new cartridge. I really love flowers. I love flowers. I make to create flowers no matter what from fabric, from paper, um, from clay. That's why you see lots of diamond painting that has flowers. I love to grow flowers. So <laughs> that's kind of uh, another my obsession was with this cricket thing and I watch again lots of video learn how to use it I probably forgot everything how to use it to be honest I don't even remember if I know how to use it now but I know I have lots of cartridges and I should pull out the machine and maybe try one time figure out if it's still working or not then she got me into the vinyl cutting machine which is machine that um, silhouette cutting machine so I have that and that machine of course I like a little bit better because I can create uh, anything I want like clothing uh, cut sticker or it has a vinyl cold heat, uh, cold vinyl or heat vinyl glitter vinyl oh again I start to collect that kind of stuff but at least with this, um, well, yeah, it cost me like around $400 or so to buy a press heat. And one of those videos, I demonstrated the press heat for my diamond paint. And there was diamonds keep falling out. And I tried to fix it uh, with the machine, which is did help me a little bit. Uh, so, yes, that was, again, got inspiration from my friend. And now I think she's going to get me to another trouble because now she's knitting all those little creatures that I see all over internet and I uh, love them too. And I do have boxes and boxes of yarn laying dead for many years. And now she started to knit these little teddy bears and all the softy toys that make me like I wanted to try but I don't have a time because I have a cross stitch and a diamond painting so you know some crafters follow one thing and continue and get successful me I have to try everything literally let me just wax paper I mean parchment paper a little bit away me I'm that kind of person that I need to try everything I wouldn't be satisfying just to do, uh, for example, diamond painting and that's it. Uh, that would be too boring, I think. So that's why I like everything. 
and as I always tell and I will say again today and if you recognize yourself comment below or give me a smiley face you can take a craft from me or out of me but you cannot take me out of craft I think I said that right yes so even if you take a craft away it's still gonna be in me forever because this is something make me happy I'm very passionate about it and I love to share my passion with other people to me all this video uh, creating it's so natural I don't feel stress I don't have to even think about it uh, what I need to talk about I'm just mostly it's kind of like a teaching lessons for beginners if you're already a pro and you still want to stick together because you like to listen to my stories that's make me totally happy um, and I just so natural I sit down I place my camera and roll go and story came out one by one because I'm so relaxed I'm so comfortable what I'm doing that I don't feel any pressure and now I'm just gonna it's kind of turn into the point that I want to talk about video I have to be successful youtuber but we're not gonna do that otherwise we're gonna turn our fun story into the lessons of <laughs> how to be influencer and stuff like that so yes that's the passion I got paper craft and all the stuff from Sherry and her husband because they were teasing each other oh come on bye Natalie need this well and I wouldn't say I don't need it because it's something new it was something so interesting and when I watch her do it it's like oh my god it's so much fun so yeah I got a cricket machine sitting in my house I have a silhouette uh, and well silhouette is good because even you need to connect and I learned how to create your own files so I created t-shirts logos for my business uh, for my workers I did t-shirts for them I did I have a press even to make a hat so I can buy some blank hats and put whatever I want and it's actually one of my projects that I really want to do is to create uh, t-shirts a t-shirt for myself like you know Lovecraft forever to make a logo kind of like a youtuber thing uh, for myself something or maybe for something that could be in my uh, video I don't know I kind of wanted to do video about silhouette and heat press vinyl but I'm not sure how many of you would be interested in it and then plus I didn't touch the machine again for a couple of years that I feel like I need to learn again because I already forgot everything my program on computer probably is so old and need to be updated and usually I don't like the idea of updating because when you update there always some kind of trouble could be doesn't work smoothly I don't know but then again I can go to my friend Sherry and ask her for help so if I have some troubles like technical difficulty difficulties with the internet technology thing or don't understand something because I'm not English person and it's some kind of terms I don't understand I always can call her or message her and she would help me so Sherry if you are listening to this video probably not I thank you for being my friend we love you my kids adore her oh they can wait Catherine look forward to go to Sherry for some sleepovers sometimes and they would create some cards and talking about cards, I, I was on a design teams uh, for paper craft for six or seven years. I can't even remember now. And I was heavy on a paper craft and I was creating crafts 
all day long, every day. And my husband was like, oh, come on, how much longer are you going to sit? 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock? And sometimes I'm behind on a project or uh, design team asked me to do some extra project because some of the team can't make it. And I was really dedicated and if I can help, yes, I can. So then I start receiving some, mostly um, was a digital companies they would send you digital image from the artist and then you create some card or page scrapbooking page whatever you want so and then I got to the company that would be sending monthly like rubber stamp or some die cuts uh, one company that I work with heartfelt creation uh, they would send like a monthly package um, papers, stamps and die cuts would be like a coordinating t team uh, which they are good on it. So I collected lots of rubber stamps. I would buy rubber stamps on online, like not online. Well, we have in here this kind of site called Kijiji. It's like a Greg list in, in the USA, probably. So people usually sell in some stuff that they don't need anymore for cheaper. And I would buy all those rubber stamps with the wooden block on the back of them. Uh, so I would buy, negotiate with people and go pick it up. And I collected that way lots of rubber stamps as well. Then when you go to Michael's again, uh, lots of seasonal rubber stamps would go on sale. Lots of them was like dollar each. Of course, I have to have it. So I have a huge collection of everything. If you didn't see my cards collection that I have like five or six videos, uh, you can see my work up there. I can link it up for you. Paper craft list. Um, in the video in here but then again die cuts it was so interesting I have a two die cutting machines to cut paper figurines and stuff like that so I have lots of dies I can make a video collection for that as well and I'm just collector I'm so junky <laughs> somebody would say Natalia you are hoarder I would say I create a person who love beautiful stuff. Do I have too many? Maybe. Would I buy again? Well, if I like it, I would. But also I give away a lot as a gift. Or I would take it back home to my family some stuff. Or if I can share something on my channel as a gift, I would do that as well. So I have lots of stuff that um, my Sherry's sister-in-law, she was into the Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So I bought lots of stuff of her to help her out with her business and some cute stamps or other stuff. Um, she would bring a catalog and I love catalogs so I would order something from her and she live in the States and uh, when she would come to Canada she would bring me my goodies so yeah she helped me spend some dollars as well on a stamping up stuff and then of course you go to Michael's There's so many beautiful cardstock papers up there that I have to have especially if the paper have glitters on the pages that was my like favorites oh I have a full um like a bookshelf just the papers so yes that's how like everybody around me doing something and I say you know if you can do it I can do it too and I love to try myself in every crafting, um, you know, everything crafty I like to do. Let me just refill a little bit more. 
Okay, now my container, this one will be empty. I'm just gonna shake it up. So a little bit, little bit, I got this love for craft from everyone. And then I start watching TV, TLC, or like a house renovations. Oh my God, that got me to the new hobby of furniture refurbish, uh, fixing stuff, repaint. So I started to collect lots of paint and some tools, some, oh, I have lots of stuff. So I really, just like always say, I need uh, more time in my lifetime to accomplish everything or at least like to try everything. I like to work with heavy duty tools. For example, we are building a deck at the camper and I was do, using an electric uh, screw, screwdriver tool to put deck together just to help in my husband because for one person you can get tired fast especially when we're working on such a heat and 30, 30 uh, degrees you know Celsius it's hot so when you go down you get up you kind of feel light-headed and getting dark sight on the head because it's so hot but we wanted to build because the ground up there not very straight level and it was a high kind of point from the staircase to the ground. It was difficult for Poppy to get inside. So now he just like butterfly go on the staircase, nice and easy. So that's the thing. Yes, I, I love to redo furniture and a whole bedroom set in Catherine's room I repainted. I did lace design on the old drawers by paint spraying through the um, lace. You put base color, if you want to know how it's done. You put base color on your furniture and then you grab can spray whatever color you want. You place the fabric lace on that piece and you spray and you have a beautiful design that looks like lace. It's a very neat technique and I really love that. What else? Yeah, so inspiration a little bit from everything from seeing around If I would have big property around me, I live in a semi house, so it's like one house for a two family. And I, I don't have a big yard, but if I would have a separate house, and we were looking many times to buy a new house, but then this boom with houses started that houses were so expensive uh, that we just decided to stay where we are it's okay that Sammy maybe one day we're gonna have a separate house and not much yard because if I would have a bigger yard I would turn it into the beautiful garden paradise I think because I love roses I love uh, hydrangea I love all those beautiful pretty thing that make me happy and that's why maybe I like to do gardens for other people because I enjoy digging in the ground. I enjoy to grow flowers. And I will show you actually today my husband will pick me up and we're gonna finish our job that we started last week to plant some flowers in a property, commercial property. So I will, I will show you before and after picture. Mm, maybe 
in my next video because this one I really want to upload for today. So you have a video today. So I love gardens. And then, you know, you, you see something new, you want to try. Don't hesitate. Don't think that you cannot do it. You just need to try. And sometimes you try once and then you like, you can go back. I try my first order of diamond painting two years ago, over two years. I think it's now close to three years. And I just cannot go back. I fell in love. It's my first diamonds place on a canvas. That was so much fun that I can't stop. Now uh, I will answer that <clears throat> I have a request to do diamond painting that I did unbox from Fancel. It's the ballerina, the dancing girls. Um, yes, somebody wants to see how the diamond painting will look like in such a little canvas, which 30 by 40 or was a little bit bigger, I can't remember now. So I guess I will kitten up that one as well. Maybe I will do that one for my project. Uh, for uh, next month maybe. I'm not sure if I can squeeze in for this one or not because I really want to finish this project that I already uh, want to finish and talking about finishing project for this month I'm so close to finish my cross stitching puppy flowers. I work last night on it I was so hungry for cross stitching by being camping all weekend and not have a chance to stitch that canvas because with me I took puppy the dogs. <laughs> it's kind of awkward to say puppy and puppy sounds the same but it's totally different uh, thing. So I, at the camp I only stitch puppy those two cute dogs. I uh, didn't even touch diamond painting this weekend. And then last night I was like, okay, I need to see how much stitching I can do on my puppy flowers if I can finish this month or not. And when I look, today is 22. So I definitely can finish. Because left, I think like six colors, a little bit here, a little bit there. So I'm almost done that one. So that's gonna be out. Finished project for sure for this month. And then diamond paintings, I'm kinda keeping behind a little bit because see like I keep picking a new project. Like the one I did for Catherine, they're not supposed to be this month. But as I always say, I I knew that I will do in the midst with my plans something else, something new. Uh, and I'm listening to you, whatever you want. I all kitten up my those pink roses that I really, really want to start as well. And I think you will see that video. Maybe even next one after this one. Because I already pre-recorded some clips that I want to add to that video because of the nature of the diamond painting, it's a pink roses. So I did kind of shot few piece of video update on my roses actually outdoor, my garden roses and they are pink and beautiful. So I thought it would be nice to add a little bit of my real life and diamond painting at the same time, kind of roses on canvas and roses in real life. Since then they are blooming much more now. I might need to update my <laughs> little bit of this record couple more se minutes or seconds 
um, to show you now how this roses outside look like. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's the roses I did uh, homemade mixture spray from the box that eat roses. Now my roses are safe. I don't see those bugs for now. And that's the only I spray once. But my lily, they keep bugs, keep eating them because I need to spray probably more. But that's not the regular bugs that eat them. They just, those little, how you call the slug or whatever it is, just keep munching on my lilies. And they're supposed to bloom first time this year. Tiger lilies. Uh, I don't know if I can save those or not. Maybe they need something different. Unless today, when it's sunset, will hit. Usually don't spray in a daylight when it's very, very hot day. It will burn leaves. But after sunset, it's okay to do that. I might gonna spray them one more time today. Just a lily, not roses. Roses are fine. Okay, that, that's how much left from from this first jar that we are doing. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop right now. And I have to say that we did quite a bit by chit-chatting, look at that, a little glow over car. Um, this way, I don't know, I have to show you. So now I have just a little bit of these diamonds left in here, so I'm just going to pour them in the container that they should fit the rest of in here. There. And that's it. Now my containers go here. I'm just gonna keep this empty one here anywhere so I don't have to shuffle I might gonna reshuffle them you know like pull out this empty one now because I don't need it and I might just gonna do like change them together but then I have to move all the way around again eight um, seven seven eight nine ten eleven like this one eleven 12, 13, 14, 15, go 16 this way, and there, 22, and then we're just going to place the empty containers in here, and that's it, we are ready to do again. Okay, let me show you close shot close here put away so it's nice and safe I think I didn't close well okay okay and I want to show you drills a little bit a little bit close shot of the drills they all even few drills was connected with each other, maybe like three of them. Uh, other than that, they all same equal size. And if you have straightener tool, you can, you know, do those lines a little bit right now or on the end like I do. But when you p working with one placer, you basically don't even really need to straighten up because you go right on a symbol that you need. So I hope you have fun today 
and it was fun for you to listen to my obsession and how it's all started uh, so if you like another time videos like this all you have to do is to give me some question in the comments section I will write them down and maybe we will do like you know question and answers for next videos that would be fun and um, yeah not much really like a private life I don't know how much I will share of that but pretty much you already know everything almost about me and I hope next time when we work on this diamond painting all background will be finished and the more juiciest colors we will work together with you what do you think if you like this video give me thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you are new on my channel i upload every single day this time of the year and lots of you want me still continue to upload every day because you love my videos and i'm glad to create them for you uh, if I fall behind in some point, not every day, it means probably I was camping and I did not have time to upload. But starts today, I will upload few videos a day and that way I will kind of get myself a little bit ahead. So after this video, I will be um, hopefully record two more videos today, but I have to do go to work a little bit as well and i will schedule a video for you again for every day this week and i hope you will have fun so thank you so much for staying with me diamond paint enjoy or cross stitch whatever you're doing i love every craft every craft so if you don't uh, join any crafty group yet please join my facebook group love craft forever and you can post up there all your obsession with your craft, uh, crafty life. I would love to see your creations. Thank you and I will see you in my next video.